country a lot of people might be you know um curious about how much this particular medication costs okay it doesn't cost so much it differs in different regions okay and anyway you could get it for like 700 um in um 700 naira okay that's in naira <laughs> just in case i have few subscribers that are not nigerian so, hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is kenzie and today i'm going to be talking about weight gain with the use of the super appetit syrup this video contains all you need to know before you use the syrup on all you need to know while using the syrup let's get into it okay guys so i discovered in my previous videos that you guys prefer more about the weight gain stuff so i also i'm on the weight gain journey so some sort so i decided to share you you guys you know about this particular syrup this is the super appetit syrup this is super appetit plus syrup okay and this is a weight gain syrup um it's actually not a weight gain syrup medically but a lot of people use it to gain weight and I tried it as well and I love to share my experience with you guys. So I'm just going to take it out of the bottle to show you guys that I actually tried it because you know how I like to do it. I like to show you that I tried it, okay? So this is what the syrup looks like. Um, if you look closely, you would see that it's half because I've been taking it and this is what it looks like. So the Super Appetit Syrup is just one from the long list of other syrups for weight gain. I have used Apitamin in the past and I will make a video about that sometime if I decide to try it again. And there are a lot of other drugs that are used for weight gain. So the main nutrient or the main ingredient, <laughs> I don't know if ingredient is alright, but the main thing that is comprised in this bottle which makes you want to eat and eventually helps you gain weight it's called ciproheptadine yes that's the name ciproheptadine and it is really nice in causing you know in boosting hunger it promotes hunger and therefore when you're hungry you eat and when you eat you gain more weight okay so now i'm just going to go over like a list of the side effects that are written on the notes and stuff like that real quickly okay and the side effects stated here are Tremor, seizure, hallucination, ringing in ears, palpitation, dis difficulties passing urine, headaches, fatigue, chills, and yeah, and that. So there are particular drugs you cannot take while taking this drug. When you are taking antibiotics, I do not recommend it at all. It is not right. I tried it some time ago and I trust me guys, the side effects were really bad. I, I went through serious diarrhea and stuff like that. So when you get this drug and you want to take it, first of all, if you purchase it from a good pharmacy, they're going to give you a, a description, a prescription for the drug rather. As you can see here, this is the prescription I got and it is one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. But guys, once you take one of this, like once you take the 10 mil that is being directed that you're supposed to take, this whole thing is going to like just drag you into a whole different state, especially if you do not respond to it correctly. A friend of mine actually uses this, but um, when I was speaking to her, she said she didn't experience any side effects of some sort. She said she prefers a pizza mind to this, and she says it didn't really do anything to her, you know. But once I take this, it doesn't matter how many times I've been taking it, okay? But anytime I purchase it newly and I try to take it, I always fall sick and not fall sick but once i try to take it i get dizzy i have to sleep for long hours i have to eat i get really hungry and it just happens for like a day or two and then it comes normal and then also once i get this medication guys i never take it one in the morning afternoon and evening because that's a lot because once i take just one dose of it it really makes me very sick not sick it really makes me very hungry and it really makes me like sleep a lot so it depends on your body type on your system uh, for some people you can take you know morning afternoon and evening it depends okay but one thing i could say for this particular medication is that you should not take too much of it because an overdose of ciproheptadine can actually lead to death and seizures and hallucinating as instructed. Don't try to like go ahead of yourself and be like, okay, if it wants to work, maybe you want to like gain weight in two weeks 
and yeah this can actually help you gain like some pounds in two weeks um but if you're looking to be like massive like thick thick trust me guys you cannot overdose this drug right here do not overdose it and just follow the procedure okay trust me guys in two weeks or three weeks at most if you're actually taking this medication and eating properly you're going to experience a change in your body size trust me guys because this is really nice okay i always combine this with a lot of exercise because when you take this and you're not exercising you know it's going to make you sleep therefore make you um, very lazy and stuff like that and when you get too lazy and you're not exercising trust me and you start adding all that weight it's all going to go into your full power <laughs> i don't know if you know what a full power is like your bed once, you, once you take this and you're not exercising it's going to make you add weight and that is going to come in form of fat because you're going to become lazy and if you don't exercise trust me this is going to push all that weight into your abdominal and into your arms so you always need to make a priority that when you're taking appetite syrups or whatever kind or um, herbs or stuff like that, just make sure that you always, always, always exercise, okay? There's actually this girl I follow on YouTube. Her name is Jane Kate Fitness. Her exercise and workouts are really nice. You can check her out and yeah, just see how it works for you, okay? Okay guys, I believe I mentioned overdosing. Please do not overdose on this medication. There are very, very bad side effects and I do not advise you to take too much quantity. Some people might even go out and get like five bottles at a stretch to like, you know, that is too much guys. You need to always do things with moderate, you know, purposes. As much as you want to gain weight and as much as I'm rooting for you, Please, I do not advise you to rush and get five bottles of this. Just start off with maybe a bottle, okay? And see what happens after two weeks or three weeks, okay? So you would be able to verify that it doesn't have any side effects on you. Make sure you always exercise. I would um, always exercise anytime I'm taking this type of thing so that I don't have excess fat in my abdominals or in my arms. Because when you take stuff like this, it's going to make you lazy. And if you're lazy, you're going to sleep. And if you sleep and you don't work out, you just sleep, eat, and sleep. It's going to make you like really, really fat and not thick. So make sure you exercise all the time. I would always advise checking your physician before you start taking stuff like this. Make sure you meet up with your doctor to make sure that you're medically fit before you start taking stuff like this. Because a lot of people just jump into it because they just want to gain the weight. And I know how it feels, guys. I've been there, you know. You just want to gain weight. And you're so sick of always being slim and being the one. Everybody's calling you let pa and stuff like that. But guys, you need to always consider your health and make sure you're physically fit. A lot of us don't even have medical checkups and we don't even check ourselves at all because we just feel like ah, it doesn't really count or it doesn't matter. Or maybe sometimes we don't have the finances, but please make sure that you are medically fit to actually be on this particular drug. So this drug can actually make you very dizzy. It can actually make you dizzy. And if you get very dizzy, you will be constantly lazy and constantly hungry. Okay, it makes you constantly hungry. That's what it does for me. Those are the side effects I experienced. It made me very dizzy at the first period. You know, the first day and the second day I took it, I was dizzy. I kept sleeping and kept eating. You know, it just makes you very, very hungry and it just made me sleep a lot. So I feel like it could actually do that for you. So that's one side effect you should look out for. So I do not advise you to be on this drug if you're in school and maybe it's time for exams or classes uh, around. Maybe you could start it on the weekends so that it doesn't interfere with your social life or with your life in any way, rather. But a friend of mine actually was taking this for a couple of times before and she actually said that she didn't have any side effects so i feel like the side effects actually vary with people some people might experience the side effects and some people might not you know so yeah that is what i experienced when you are on the journey of gaining weight you need to understand that it is a process okay you need to give your body time and you need to love your body and while gaining weight make sure you know that you're gaining weight because of yourself not because of anybody else because when you stand in the mirror you want to love what you see you want to wear your clothes and you want them to fit rightly you just want to be okay 
okay so don't push yourself too hard if you're not doing something for yourself i would never recommend that never ever ever and there's only for you to go out of the boundaries you know yeah there's lots of limitless ways people go out of their way just to gain weight okay take your time and make sure that you're following due process and trust me you would be great and also make sure that while you are taking this medication you're not eating just junk a lot of people feel like the whole process of gaining weight is just to eat a lot of junk and just eat whatever you see guys trust me that is bad business okay once you're taking this make sure you're eating healthy i have a, a smoothie video on my channel you can check that that smoothie is really amazing and it could actually help and i also have protein snack video uh you could check that out as well you should try to eat healthy food eat a lot of proteinous food so that you will gain healthy mass okay and it will be mass and not just like normal fats that are just sedimented all over <laughs> just make sure that you have your eating healthy so that you could gain your weight in the right places also if you are pregnant please do not take this particular medication and if you have medical issues like i said make sure you check out with your doctor but i don't even know why a pregnant person would want to take this right because you're pregnant and normally you're it's going to be normal for you to actually eat a lot of food and stuff so i really don't think a pregnant person should be taking this but i don't know just in case you want to try it out <laughs> just let pregnancy do its thing okay you'll be fine <laughs> and just like i said i'm going to do a revise or i'm just going to do like a summary of everything i have said the first thing i said is that a lot of people might rush to get this particular medication like an overdose is a no-no okay do not take an overdose make sure you are eating healthy when you are on this particular medication so that you don't um, affect your health in every way because you could get obese and if you get obese it could lead you to diabetes and a lot of other medical issues that you do not want okay so make sure that you are eating healthy make sure that you are exercising so that the fat goes to the right places the mass is building your body in the right places okay so that you just don't get lazy and eat and sleep and come on no you need to look good and looking good you know you have to put a little effort into that okay so make sure you do that and always check with your physician before you start any medications whatsoever don't just go to youtube and see things and then you go to start them okay i would always bring things to my channel that i have tried personally so that it will not look like i'm just trying to like sponsor a product because this video is not sponsored in any way i'm not getting anything from this video and i'll probably get something maybe in affiliate links if i I do put any in the in the description button you can feel free to like purchase it from there and you can help my channel but aside that i am not sponsored by this company okay so i'm being totally honest with you guys like i said i'll always show you to see so that you could tell that this has been taken okay so make sure that you check with your physician to be sure that you don't have any medical concerns that might affect you while taking this medication okay so that is it for today's video i enjoyed making this content i remain kenzie and if you are new to the channel please i would love to see you again don't forget to like share and subscribe smash that notification button so you get notified anytime i post a new video and if you are an older returning subscriber so much love to you guys thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for sticking around i hope this video was helpful because it was amazing making it and if you have any further questions or you need clarifications please feel free to drop them in the comment section i promise i will reply and yeah i remain kenzie and i'll see you in my next video bye